Hello everyone. So we are back with the new episode of Reproductive Health Part Two. So here we are going to discuss about the uh, surgical method that is also called sterilization method in the contraceptive method. So we have discussed about all the methods in the previous uh, class. So if you have not gone through that episode, I'll be putting the link below in the description box. So today another important topic we are going to discuss that is the medical termination of pregnancy or the MTP, and we are also going to uh, study about the sexually transmitted diseases so these are all the important topics we are going to cover up today so please stay tuned throughout the full episode don't skip in between because full episode will be very much knowledgeable and it will be a very interesting uh, topic so let's get started with today's episode of reproductive health so here we are back with the surgical method so surgical method is also called the sterilization method and we are generally there the, either the male or the female partner they are um, it is a terminal method to prevent any more pregnancy so in male it is called the vasectomy and in female it is called the tubectomy so what is happening here here a part of the vast difference is tied and cut either it is tied or it cut it is cut in male and in female what is done a part of the fallopian tube it is cut or tied so what is happening the ovum from the ovary when it is produced it is uh, not able to travel the full path to the uterus so that what is happening so uh, when the sperm is entering through the vagina it is unable to uh, meet the ovum so no conception is happening as no ovum is there the ovum has not traveled to this path so that the sperm and come sperm can come and meet the ovum so this is how the contraception uh, it is a method of contraception where the person is uh, unable to conceive if there is a uh, tubectomy then and same in this vas to me also the sperm will not travel and it will not uh, it will during this uh, uh, intercourse or coitus it will not be present in the uh, semen so the sperm will not be there and there is no question of uniting of the sperm and ovum and there is no question of zygote formation so no conception will happen okay so this is what i have told you that the surgical intervention it blocks the gamete transport thereby prevents conception so sterilization procedure is male and cause the vasectomy and female it called the it is called the tubectomy the vasectomy a small part of the vas difference is removed or tied up and therefore a small incision on the scrotum is done whereas in tubectomy a small part of the fallopian tube as we have seen in the the uh, diagram on the top also in the figure that is tied up and a small incision in the abdomen through the vagina or through the vagina and these techniques are highly effective but the uh, reversibility is very poor so once they have done vasectomy and once they have done uh, tubectomy you if you want to conceive also it can't be reversed so reversibility is very poor you can't tie up the tube again you can't uh, join the vas difference again so it needs to be emphasized that the selection of suitable contraceptive methods should be uh, it is it, sh it should be used right should always be undertaken in consultation with qualified medical professionals one must also remember that contraceptives are not regular requirements for maintenance of reproductive health okay so they should not be they are not uh, generally regularly required for maintaining the reproductive health in fact they are practiced against a natural reproductive event that is uh, if you don't want to get pregnant then only you are using the contraceptive methods one is forced to use these methods earlier to prevent pregnancy or to delay or to space a pregnancy due to personal reasons right so if a person is trying to space between two pregnancies between two child if a person is wanting to delay the pregnancy or due to certain personal reasons if a person is not trying to become pregnant might be he is not mentally and physically fit enough to conceive a baby right now so for that personal reasons then only they should use these contraceptive methods okay no doubt the widespread use of these methods have a significant role in checking the uncontrolled growth of population so today our topic started uh, with the surgical method but in the previous episode we have already spoken about the uh, explosion of population how it is affecting our whole world and so we want to control this growth of population and the, uh, though we can say that though we try to control this population however there are several 
several ill effects like nausea, abdominal pain, breakthrough bleeding, irregular menstrual bleeding or even breast cancer, uh, though not very significant, should not be totally ignored. So all this, uh, all this conception methods, when you are using some hormones, when you are treating your body with several pills, then there are several methods which are causing in the uh, long term effect in your body so you should be aware of that so you should take the help of a medical practitioner uh, before you adopt any uh, such contraceptive methods okay is it clear now we will move on to a very important topic that is medical termination of me pregnancy that is mtp so it is very important and just very be very careful to understand this one so what is mtp or medical termination of pregnancy so as the name suggests termination or it means ending of okay so it is the intentional or voluntary termination of pregnancy before the full term okay it is called the medical termination of pregnancy so why is it done it is actually done to prevent some unwanted pregnancy or generally in some cases when there are pregnancies due to um, sexual abuse or due to rape cases and also for that preventing those type of conceptions uh, this medical termination of pregnancies or induced abortion has been um, taken in this medical field okay so nearly 45 to 50 million mtps are performed in a year all over the world which accounts to one fifth of the total number of conceived pregnancies okay so this medical termination of pregnancy is nearly about one fifth of total number of pregnancies what are conceived pregnancies in every year so whether to accept or legalize mtp or not it has been debated over many in many countries due to certain uh, emotional ethical religious or social issues right so whether to terminate the pregnancy before full term is legal or not whether it is uh, it is uh, good or not so generally it is done under certain cases but the government of india legalized the mtp in 1971 with some strict conditions to avoid the misuse so it's not that uh, whenever you wish you can go and terminate your pregnancy no under certain strict um, uh, uh, conditions only you can use this uh, medical termination of pregnancy so such restrictions are uh, important to check and indiscriminate and ill and illegal female feticides which are reported to be high in India because if uh, uh, people want to misuse this medical termination of pregnancy they'll uh, check the sex of the fetus they'll go and they'll terminate the pregnancy if it is a female fetus so it's not like that so you can terminate the pregnancy uh, if there are certain strict conditions only so just uh, just we should go through the law once what is the law tell so in this medical termination of pregnancy amendment act in 2017 it is, was enacted by the government of india so the intention was what to reduce the incidence of illegal abortion and the maternal mortality and morbidity right according to the act a pregnancy may be terminated on certain grounds only within 12 to uh, 12 weeks of pregnancy on the opinion of one registered practitioner only so if the pregnancy has lasted more than 12 weeks but fewer than 24 weeks okay so if it is fewer than 24 weeks and it is more than 12 weeks only under the supervision of two medical practitioners there must be an op opinion uh, and uh, they should be good doctors and the grounds for termination of pregnancies are the if there is a condition that when continuing this pregnancy is involving the risk of the pregnant woman or there is a grave injury physical injury or mental health the problem with that uh, mother who is carrying the child that carrying the baby till full term will be of great concern then only this termination can be done or in other cases there are substantial risk where the child to be born uh, will be either physical or with mental abnormalities so or might be a handicap so in that cases also they can go for medical termination of pregnancy so obviously there is answer to get rid of this unwanted pregnancies many uh, either due to casual unprotected intercourse or failure of the contraceptive methods if it is um, like uh, in these two cases if it is failure of the contraceptive method or it is an unwanted pregnancy and it is between 12 to 24 weeks and you want to 
induce abortion or it is either due to rapes or all so then mtps are also essential okay so in either cases i've already told in that cases where the mother either mother or the fetus's life is fate um, is under risk then also mtp can be done so mtps are considered relatively safe in the first trimester up to 12 weeks of pregnancy but in the second trimesters abortion are much more riskier so it is affecting the life of the mother so within 12 after 12 weeks it is safer within the first trimester or the three months but after three months are already over it is much more riskier in case of the mother's uh, health okay one disturbing trend observed in the majority of the mtps performed illegally by unqualified quacks so what are these quacks these are the doctors who are pretending to be doctors but basically they are not at all doctors they don't know the procedures of mtps and all and they try to take um, or grasp so much money from you and they uh, they will be telling you that they can do the abortion and they will do the mtp but what is that that is actually unsafe and at times the mother is uh, dead so it's fatal too so another dangerous trend is that the misuse of amniocentesis amniocentesis i told you in the previous class itself if you have not gone through i'll be putting the link in the i box above go through that that is uh, a test uh, which is done by the amniotic fluid so there the sex of the unborn child can also be determined there they are misusing this uh, process and if the unborn child is female frequently the female fetus is being killed by this mtp so this is totally against the law and such practices should be avoided because this is dangerous for both the young mother and the fetus okay so effective counseling on the need to avoid unprotected coitus and risk factors involved in illegal abortions as well as providing more healthcare facilities could reverse this unhealthy trend so it is very much unhealthy uh, for the young mother as well as the fetus if the fetus is female uh, people are uh, determining the sex and they are trying to kill the baby so it is extremely illegal and it is extremely sad to kill kill the uh, fetus in that stage if it is not urgently required if it is an unprotected sex and if it is a unwanted pregnancy or either if it is after a sex abuse or a rape case these are the conditions under which strictly it should be done under medical proper medical supervision but in such case other cases it's not legal right so it should be taken care of so now we will move on to the sexually transmitted infections okay so here we come uh, in this section that is sexually transmitted infections so what are these these are infections or diseases which are transmitted through the sexual intercourse so collectively they are called sexually transmitted infections and sti or venereal diseases okay or vd or reproductive tract infections or rti so it is known by many names that is sexually transmitted infections vd or venereal diseases or reproductive tract infection so a uh, name uh, namely we can uh, name a very uh, many of them that is gonorrhea syphilis genital herpes uh, chlamydiasis genital warts trichomoniasis hepatitis b and of course the most discussed discussed infection in the recent years is the hiv leading to aids okay these are always the common sexually transmitted infections and among these hiv infection is the most dangerous and it should be discussed in detail in chapter 7 so the next uh, in uh, this is chapter 3 you are studying in chapter 7 we will be discussing in details about this uh, hiv or aids okay so some of these infections like hepatitis b hiv can also be transmitted by sharing the injection needles surgical instruments etc with infected persons okay that is through blood transfusion uh, from an infected mother to fetus except for hepatitis b the genital herpes hiv infections and other diseases are completely curable okay so if detected early and treated properly so this hepatitis b 
genital herpes and hiv infections are not uh, curable other than that the other diseases are completely curable and early symptoms almost uh, are these are minor include itching fluid discharge slight pain swelling etc so in the genital region an infected person uh, infected females may often be asymptomatic and hence they may be undetected for long and absence of less significant symptoms in early stages of infection and social stigma also attached to the sexually transmitted uh, infection so what is the social stigma if a person is having any of these diseases he or she is uh, feeling shy to go and visit a doctor he or she is uh, not going to a doctor for the proper treatment because they are uh, um, they are they are scared of the social society what they will tell if they know what will happen so it is the social stigma they should come out of this and they should get themselves treated right so if it is going for timely detection and proper de treatment they can be cured so that, that otherwise it could lead to several complications later which include pelvic inflammatory diseases that is pid abortions also in some cases stillbirth so what is stillbirth in some cases if they are having sexually transmitted diseases uh, the baby which are born they are uh, at the time of birth only they are dead that is still births okay ectopic pregnancy that is difficulties in pregnancies also happen infertility or even cancer in the reproductive tract may also happen if the sexually transmitted infections are taken over for a long period of time now stis are a major threat for healthy societies therefore prevention or early detection and cure of these diseases is the prime consideration under the reproductive health care program so the sexually transmitted dis um, infections are among the uh, prime problem uh, which are uh, causing the uh, affecting the reproductive health of our society so we uh, are concerned our government is concerned to take care of this uh, all this uh, prevention of this sexually transmitted infections now though all persons are vulnerable to these infections their incidences are reported very high among the age group that is 15 to 24 years of age in the age group in which you people belong right so you are belonging to this age group of 15 to 25 so there is no reason to panic because prevention is always uh, better than cure and so you should one should be free uh, of these infections by the following simple principles avoid sex with unknown partners or multiple partners always try to use condoms during intercourse in case of doubt one should go to a qualified doctor for detection and get the complete treatment um, if diagnosed uh, with infection so is it clear to everyone so this is what we have spoken today about the medical termination of pregnancy about the steri sterilization method that is vasectomy and tubectomy and about the sexual transmitted infections so this is all what we have studied today and in the next episode we will be studying in detail about infertility and what are the methods which are taken uh, um, which are taken to uh, cover up this infertility and to give birth to a baby so there are many methods many important methods that you should know in detail so that i'll be taking in the next episode so this is all for today's episode to know next what is coming in the upcoming episode what all interesting topics i'm going to teach you you should stay tuned and you should subscribe to my channel and you should share it with your friends if you are liking my lessons and please do write uh, the comment in my comment box if you want to know anything in details and i'll be taking up in the next video so stay tuned stay updated and please go through the episodes which i am teaching thank you